Picking up from the last movie, I want to explore a great feature of Arnold, which is the Round Corners Bump Map. We looked at bump mapping in the previous exercise, and I've got that scene loaded here. I've got the Slate Material Editor open, displaying the shading network for this plastic black material. It's got a Bump 3D node and a noise map. And in the Arnold render view, we can see I've got a rendering and a couple of snapshots. Here is the rendering with no bump map. Here's the rendering with the bump map applied. So I'll go back to a live interactive production rendering, but I am going to disable scene updates until I've made some adjustments to my shading network over here. Round corners gives us the ability to round out corners, as the name implies. If we look at the snapshot with no bump map, we got some hard edges pretty much everywhere on the model. And those hard edges or sharp corners are not very realistic. In the real world, there would be a little bit of a fillet here. There would be a curve in between those two surfaces. And we could add a fillet in the model, but that would be time consuming. For very small scale fillets such as this, it's much better to use the Arnold Round Corners map. So I'll go back to a live interactive production rendering once again, and we'll create the Round Corners map here in our standard surface network. Let's disconnect the existing bump map. So drag out from that normal input and disconnect the existing Bump 3D node. Let's now create the Arnold Round Corners map. Once again, dragging out from that normal input, release the mouse and choose Arnold Bump Round Corners. And we can rename that to, we can simply call it Round. And let's see what that looks like with default parameters. I'll restore the scene updates. And now we'll see the Round Corners map with no bump map and we can see a subtle fillet here, and especially here. And we can compare that to the version with no round corners. I've got that in a snapshot. So there's no round corners, and then click on that snapshot again, go back to the live rendering, there's the round corners. So I can toggle that on and off so you can see the difference. That's pretty cool. It's got a default radius of 0 0.01 inches. We can leave that as it is or we can increase that. Let's maybe bring that up to 0 0.02. Now we've got a little bit larger fillet there. But actually the radius of 0 0.01 worked fine, so I'll bring that back down again. We also have the number of samples. That's the accuracy. A value of six is fine. We might want to reduce it a little bit just so that we'll get a little bit faster rendering. We can bring that down, bring the samples value. If we bring it down all the way to zero, then we'll really get no effect here. And once again, I can do a region render so we can see that more clearly. And we can even zoom in in the Arnold render view with alt and right mouse button, get in really close there and pan around with the middle mouse button. So there it is with samples set to zero. I'll bring this up one, two, three. And if I bring it up past three, I'm not seeing any change. So three was as far as this needed to go. So I'll bring that back down to three. We can restore our Arnold render view to a one-to-one -one framing. Click on one-to-one -one and now we'll see one pixel in the rendering displayed as one pixel on the screen. Okay, we've got a round corners bump and that's working well. We also have a noise bump and it's actually very easy to combine these. You'll notice that each one of these has an input labeled normal and that allows us to daisy chain or connect these in a series or sequence. So I'll reconnect my bump 3D to the normal input. And now we see our bump map and I can take that round corners output, plug it into the normal input of the bump 3D node. And now I'm combining both of them and we can get in close once again with alt and right mouse button, get in really close so we can see this well disconnect that and we have the noise map only reconnect the round corners and we see both the noise map and the round corners all right so that's pretty cool we can disable region rendering and go back to rendering the full frame and again this is a great effect that we couldn't accomplish traditionally in 3ds max because we couldn't combine bump maps but using arnold we not only have the ability to combine bump maps we also have the ability to apply round corners to simulate filleted edges.